What's going on guys, Mikkel here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly why the XRP you and I hold will never be declared a security of Ripple by the court. I found some extremely important dialogue between both John Deaton and Jeremy Hogan talking about this exact issue, and they both agree. There is no chance the court will be able to declare XRP a security of Ripple, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly why why this is key to understand because if xrp will not be declared a security exchanges will ultimately have the clarity they need to relist xrp and this is going to cause massive price appreciation for the token those of us who understood before this lawsuit was settled are going to be in a position to accumulate cheap XRP before the rest of the world realizes that this entire lawsuit was a smokescreen. If you guys are new to this channel or come here all the time, please like and subscribe. It helps me out so much in the YouTube algorithm and it's going to help more people like you see this video. Anyway, with that said, let's jump right into it and I hope you guys enjoy the content. <sighs> guys, well, you're definitely going to want to stick around for this whole video because this is something that is critical for XRP holders to understand. XRP is not a security because it fundamentally does not meet the definition of what a security is. In this video, I'm going to be showing you quotes from John Deaton saying this, Jeremy Hogan saying this, but not only them, but the SEC lawyers himself who really pursued this lawsuit, Jay Clayton and William Hinman, all agreeing that there is no way XRP is a security. Let's get it right into it though. And I want to start off right here. And this is the tweet I put out. So the Ripple case has been going on for over a year now. And the SEC is yet to string together a valid argument on why XRP itself should be a security. The Ripple lawyers have been truly outstanding in highlighting the incompetence going on at the SEC. And this is something I truly believe and something I was very impressed from from the Ripple team since the start of this case. I really came into this case as neutral as possible because I had no idea if, if Ripple had actually done something wrong or not. But the longer and longer this case went on, the Ripple team has done a phenomenal job of proving their point and nothing I have seen from the SEC has been even slightly convincing that XRP could be a security. The SEC is constantly lying, constantly contradicting contradicting themselves and can't put together a valid argument that goes along with their case it's truly embarrassing watching the sec's case right now and that is one of the biggest reasons i believe that this decision would be a no-brainer from the court if it actually went to trial i don't believe it will Next, though, and this is one of the most important things we need to understand. Here's a tweet from John Deaton directly breaking down why it is impossible that XRP could even be declared a security by the SEC's own rules. So let's read through this. Proof today's XRP fails the Howey test. One, an investment contract. Two, in a common enterprise. Three, with reasonable expectations of profits. Four, from those efforts of others, XRP holders use the token itself to stake XRP for interest, in quotations, profit, or as collateral for a fiat loan. Factor four fails the Howey test. And this Howey test is what the SEC has used for almost 100 years to decide if something's a security. XRP very clearly fails the Howey test because you are not expecting profits directly from Ripple. There are hundreds of thousands of other use cases for XRP. And another great example that Deaton doesn't even mention is setting up trust lines. If I want to set up a trust line, I could have zero interest in XRP or Ripple. But if I want to use the trust line, I have to buy XRP and lock it into the trust line. There is no expectation of Ripple doing anything to increase the value of my XRP, and I am buying XRP for the sake of the utility of the XRP, nothing having to do with the price appreciation of the XRP. This is a fundamental misunderstanding by the SEC in this case, and is straight 
straightforward, easy to comprehend evidence that the XRP you and I hold is not a security. It does not meet the standards of the SEC themselves on what is a security and what's not. So it's plain as day, XRP is not a security. But I'm gonna give you guys even more evidence to drive this home because clearly this has not been enough for the SEC. Don't worry, it gets a lot worse. First, I tweeted out, it's incredible how poorly this lawsuit has been carried out by the SEC. It seems like it was either complete incompetence by the SEC's legal department or this lawsuit was used as a stage to lay the groundwork for the future of crypto regulations. Don't worry, we're gonna get into that second point at the end of the video. So this tweet thread right here by John Deaton is absolutely critical in showing us that there is no way XRP is a security of Ripple, and the assertion by the SEC that it is, is nothing short of complete incompetence by their legal department. Either that or this was all a plan, but let's start off with the fact right now that we actually have quotes from Jay Clayton and William Hinman admitting that is never the token itself that is the security, it is actually the sale of the token. And this is the massive issue that people need to understand in this case. It was never the fact that XRP was a security, it was the fact that Ripple sold XRP as a security. But that doesn't mean XRP is a security, and I'm gonna show you SEC officials like Jay Clayton specifically stating this in this tweet thread. Right here we see John Deaton says, the SEC argues the XRP traded even in the secondary market is the embodiment of those facts, circumstances, promises, and expectation, and today represents that investment contract. Pretty much legal jargon for the SEC saying XRP was a security, it still is. Let's keep moving. In March 2021, Judge Netburn recognized this overreaching assertion. She advised the SEC under its own theory, every single person in the world that sells XRP is now violate, violating the law. The judge herself recognized that the SEC's claim implicated, implicated the global retail holders of XRP. She's pretty much saying that's insane. How could every single person who sells XRP be committing a securities violation? Do you see how overbroad and outrageous the SEC's argument is? Howie and the cases that followed, including digital asset cases, have all found the way the asset is offered and sold. The scheme is what makes it a security, not the underlying asset itself. The test is whether the scheme involves an investment of money in a common enterprise with profits to come solely from the effort of others. That's the definition of the Howey case. The SEC has not only ignored the Howey case, but also the 2019 Telegram case. In the Telegram case, the court ruled the security was neither the Graham purchase agreement nor or the Graham token, but the entire scheme that compromised the Graham purchase agreements. The SEC is not just ignoring the Howey case, but is also making allegations that directly contradict statements by the people who filed the case. And if we keep continuing, we can see, and I'm just trying to skip over some of the very legal jargon stuff, Hinman continued, central to determination whether a security is being sold is how it is being sold and the reasonable expectations of purchasers. Jay Clayton agreed with Hinman's conclusion that the token itself is not the security. I agree with the analysis of whether a digital asset is offered or sold as a security is not static and does not strictly in here to the instrument. So right here, Jay Clayton and William Hinman and John Deaton pulled these quotes exactly are specifically stating that the token itself is not what creates or is a security. It's how that token is sold. So what does that mean for you? It means for me and you XRP holders, the SEC is not in their right mind by saying XRP should be a security of Ripple because their entire history of being an enforcement department, they have never treated securities this way and not ever in a single other digital currency case have they ever tried to make the assertion that the digital currency itself was the security. So what is going on here? And I believe this is one of the most critical things you and I need to understand as a possibility for this lawsuit. 
And quickly, before I say that, I just want to show you guys that Jeremy Hogan completely agreed with John, with, with what John Deaton is saying, and he specifically tweets out, in this, tw this tweet wouldn't get out of my head, so I had to read the Telegram case again, and John Deaton has the only reasonable conclusion. In preparing this lawsuit back in late 2020, the SEC still didn't believe that XRP was a security, and what Jeremy Hogan is really tweeting out here is, since 2018, even probably early 2017, 2016, the SEC has been going after Ripple, but they drummed up a case against Telegram in 2020, and in that case, case, the SEC admitted that the token is not the security. Jeremy Hogan is literally telling us that since 2020, the SEC had never been under the assumption that XRP was the actual security of Ripple, and they admit this because when they go after Telegram, they did not say the Gram token was the security, they said the way it was sold was the security. Because of this, I tweeted out to Jeremy Hogan and John Deaton, what are the chances the SEC purposely set up this lawsuit in this way to create a legal distinction between the security status of the sale of the token versus the token itself? Only other option, in my opinion, is complete incompetence by the SEC. What I'm saying is either the SEC made the most the biggest mistake, the biggest calculated error ever by saying XRP was a security. In all past cases, in hundreds of years of case law at the SEC, the instrument itself has never been the security. It's always been the way it was sold. So why would the SEC even be trying to make this argument? Well, it's because this entire case was a setup, a smokescreen to create a legal difference, to create standards for the rest of the cryptocurrency industry to follow. They wanted to create a clear distinction through law and through precedent. One, you have right here, you have the sale. That is one thing that can be a security. After that, you have the token. The token is not a security because it fundamentally does not meet what the SEC has deemed for tens to hundreds of years of what a security is. Guys, I really hope this made sense to you. It is so important to understand that when this case is said and done, our XRP will not be a security. The SEC has no precedent for saying that. And because of that, we will ultimately be on the right side of this. Guys, thank you so much for listening to this. I really thought this was super important to get out there. Thank you so much for coming. I hope you enjoyed the video. And for now, Mickle out. Thank <laughs> you.